Volleyball is a high-powered sport where the relationship between speed, height, and angle of release is critical to success in the sport. Let's look at the start of every volleyball set, the serve. Now, let's look at her arm angle. When she throws a ball with her left hand, her right hand goes into a 45 degree angle to set up for the serve. Next, she extends her arm to a 90 degree angle to hit the ball. Lastly, she swings her arm back down to com complete a successful serve. The angle of release when serving a volleyball starts as an acute angle at about 45 degrees, then a 90 degree angle, and then it ends as a straight angle when it follows through. This helps you generate power through the ball, which is seen through this example. Newton's second law of motion is force equals acceleration times mass. Completing these angles maximizes acceleration, which increases force. The acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force acting on it and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. In volleyball, if the player increases the amount of force that they put forth on the ball, the acceleration will then increase and the ball will move faster. This relates to the projectile motion of the volleyball due to the fact that the player will use force to propel the ball into the air and aim it at an angle that will set them up for success. Adding on, the angle of release is also important in order to ensure an accurate height during the volleyball serve. It affects both the horizontal distance and vertical height that the ball will move. If a ball is served at a lower angle, it will travel a further distance with a lower height. But if a ball is served at a higher angle, it will travel at a higher height, but not a farther distance. In this example, you can see that the ball was served at a higher angle. So it traveled at a higher height, but not a farther distance. At the end of this example, you can see that the ball was served at a lower angle, so therefore it traveled a further distance but did not have as much height as the other one. Not only does a good height allow the ball to go over the net, but it also relates the amount of force you could put on the ball. She throws the ball about 2 meters above the ground in order to hit the ball downwards, allowing gravity to add to the speed. Speed equals distance divided by time. The time it takes for the ball to reach the ground shortens as there is more force applied to the ball, relating to the force generated by the height and angle of release together. In this example, you can see the speed of the ball when I serve it. This speed comes from the force I am applying to the ball to allow it to make a projectile motion through the air. Overall, the projectile motion of the volleyball is affected by the speed, height, and angle of release. It is also acted on by Newton's second law of motion. And there it is, the volleyball serve.